you rather accidentally send a nude to your dad or your boss? Huh? Hmm. Send to boss, eh? Means you accidentally send to us, eh? Today we are doing a video on bubble tea. tea! So you know for bubble tea, a lot of us will think of the more typical and common ones that can be found in the shopping malls. Yeah, but did you know there are also a lot of neighborhood bubble teas which are less known? You know the OG neighborhood bubble tea is which one or not? Sweet talk. Yeah, we always drink during secondary school, right? Yeah, and my favorite is blue coral. Same! So today we're gonna explore the neighborhood bubble teas over at the west. Yeah, you know west side, best side. And you guys realize they're wearing the same clothes again. I really think like they chuan tong one. They have a really not planned one. We are really brothers, okay? Okay, so for the first stop, Rachel, where are we going? Okay, we are going to one of my favourite, all-time favourite neighbourhood bubble tea place. Really? Yeah, so when I was young, I always go to this place. But uh, I think this brand has two outlets. So I'll be bringing you guys to one of them. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so today we are at Bukit Bato. And guys, look at the vibe. It's really neighbourhood vibe. No more shopping malls. Only neighborhood. Going back to your roots. Okay, so this brand about tea is called You and Me. You and Me. Yeah, and usually right, I always drink like peach green tea or honey green tea. Okay. And the thing is right, they sell waffles. Your favorite. Is it good? The waffles. Yeah, here? it's good. The waffles is good. Oh my god, take a look at their menu. They have a lot of choices. Yeah, eh? like a smoothie, yogurt, ice blended, yakko. Milo, Milo milkshake. Eh. But today we don't have to worry because Rachel will be choosing for us. Yeah, she'll be choosing what she always drinks. Okay, we got our drinks and for this bubble tea shop right, there's even seating area. Yeah, I'm shocked. Okay, so these are the two drinks that we got and this is my favourite go-to drink. And you guys remember this coconut jelly? I think it's very hard to find in like bubble tea sauce. Normally you do like pearls or like white pearl. But this one is old school. Bring back a lot of memories. And then this one, we got the peppermint blue coral. Because Randy said he liked blue coral, right? Then we saw I peppermint. Say, oh, sorry. Say. Why do you remember what Randy said? <laughs> no. Now you look at this. This is so unique. This is peppermint and blue coral. So we know we have to get it. Wow. So since this is Rachel's favourite, we have to try it first. Yeah, so this is peach green tea with rainbow jelly at $2.70. Mm, you know the weather is so hot, we really need a cold drink. Why is this so sweet? Isn't this very normal? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite normal, like, it's yeah. quite normal, but I do like the rainbow jelly. I think personally for people who don't like pearls, right? Not everyone loves pearl, but this mm. one is very good to like, you know, chew. Yeah, just now I mentioned very sweet, right? Can I ask a question? Neighborhood bubble tea can choose sugar level one. Can. This one can choose sugar level. Yeah, some got sugar level. So why is this sugar level? It's zero. Huh? How is this zero? It's very sweet, eh? Mm. Hmm. So this bubble tea is my like childhood favorite. It brings me a lot of childhood memories, especially with the rainbow jelly. Yeah. It's a very simple drink because I'm not really a big fan of like milk tea. Uh -huh. So this is my alternative. So I really like to drink peach green tea. So just now that drink was Rachel's childhood favourite, right? This is our childhood favourite. Yeah. But you can see, right, the colour is green eh, because of what? Peppermint. So the normal blue colour is blue. Blue colour, yeah. I'm very excited to drink this because it's been a very, very long time since I drank, you know, blue coral. I think like got more than 25 years. <laughs> is it good? Wow, mm. really brings me back eh. Back to my secondary school yeah. when I drink like the sweet talk. Wow, recommend this. The peppermint taste is quite strong. So if you don't like peppermint, right, you can get the OG blue coral, which I personally prefer. Yeah, This is so nostalgic. You know, last time when I ordered blue coral, I always ordered it with the pearl. Yeah, And the pearl right, is the niam niam one. The <laughs> very bad one. So when you drink it together, oh my god, it really brings back a lot of memories. And for blue coral bubble tea, right, I think you can only find in neighborhood eh. Yeah. You can find at those like the major bubble tea shops. And you know blue coral, they always use the powder one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Richard, do you drink uh, blue coral bubble tea before? No, I don't drink. I always drink Oreo Crush. I must add Oreo some more. Nobody drink blue corn. This is. <laughs> so I realized Gen Z really don't know anything about blue coral. Yeah, indeed. So if any of our viewers, yeah, the blue coral generation, yeah, same as us, comment and let us know. Question time! So for this segment, for every stop, we'll be answering one question from our fans. Okay, first question. Would you rather die before your partner or die after? Wow, this is very tough eh. What's your answer? You have an answer? I'll die before. I, I also die before. Yeah, because I think I cannot take the heartbreak. You know what? I'll die after. Oh, so you can find another partner. Hey! <laughs> 
Oh my god, look at Randy. He's finishing his drink. I really love this drink. Okay, surprise! I got you your favorite waffles from the bubble tea. You know what? This is so scripted. What do you mean? I'm behind you already. It's <laughs> more surprise. Yeah. It's okay, you can act like you never see. So, because Ben, right, he mentioned he wanted to eat waffles. So, I got wow. you waffles. Oh my god, Rachel, you're the best. Oh best stuff award. Thank you. Now we are going to our next neighborhood bubble tea shop. Okay, so now we are at a second stop. It's called 70. And apparently they have like two outlets. Yeah. One here and one at Tamanjuro. So the other day we were also, we were also at Tamanjuro and we saw the queue. Long queue. queue. It was so thirsty, right? But <laughs> too long queue. Didn't get to drink. Yeah, so now we are here to try again. And just now there was also a long queue. Eh? I think mm. because it's lunchtime. Yeah. yeah. You know, since it's our first time drinking, right? We should ask the staff for recommendations. Okay. Oh, do you have any recommendations? Yeah, okay. Three cans. Okay. Are you prepared? Okay, can. Yeah. Okay, so here's our bubble tea from the second stop and these two are recommended by the staff. Yup, so we got the three gems. So this is $2.50. This is the passion fruit IE QQ, also $2.50. Okay, so we are gonna try three gems. So this is Sanxiong tea. You know mm. why is it called Sanxiong tea? You know? Why? It's not the three of us, you know. Huh? It's just got three things inside. Okay, got what's pearl, inside? Grass jelly and also ayu. And for this, this is the passion fruit ayu. So inside, right, there's like pearl, coconut jelly, and also ayu jelly. It's very similar to the milk tea. Oh, it's very worth it, eh? For yeah. so many toppings, $2.50. And, and the cup is so big. Mm. Okay, so I tried already and I agree with you guys. $2.50 for such a big cup. Very worth it. And then, right, it's quite interesting texture because of the three different toppings mm. inside. Usually, I don't add so much toppings. I uh, maximum one only. Mm. And for this, right, the passion fruit ayu, uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised because like 0%, we order like 0% for mm. both. Sometimes we drink 0%, especially at neighborhood bubble teas, right? Got no taste one. But mm. this one, got the passion fruit taste and got the tea taste. For the milk tea, the tea is not super strong or super light. It's just like in between. And I do like my bubble tea. Zero percent. So for this, I think it's passion fruit tea, mm. and I think the tea taste like, is quite pronounced. And then like the passion fruit like, is not too sour. Oh, so sometimes when you drink yeah, passion fruit, yeah. and then if it's zero percent, right, it will be very sour. Mm. But this one is really not bad. So for this bowl bubble tea, I feel that there's really quality to this, mm. eh, even though it's neighborhood. And for the milk tea, I feel that the taste is very authentic. Mm. It's not artificial, which is good. Question time. Would you rather accidentally send a nuke to your dad or your boss? Huh? Hmm. Send to boss eh? Means you accidentally send to us eh? Huh? Nukes, eh? Actually, I, I really don't want to see I your... Want to see your I want to see your news, Rachel. <laughs> but for me, I think I would rather send it to my boss. Huh? No, I think I would rather send it to my dad. Yeah, I also send it to my dad. Because like, your, because your parents... Yeah, yeah, your family and yeah, they probably seen you naked yeah, like when you were younger. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Next stop, we are over at Boba Fever. Yeah, so this bubble tea shop is quite interesting. It's combined with like a bakery. Yeah. Let's go check it out. You know, I have never heard of Boba Fever. I think they only have one shop only. Thank you. Our drink is here. So we ordered the Detox Four Season Lime Tea. So this is $4. And the staff also recommended us Brown sugar milk tea. This yep. is three dollars and fifty cents. And take a look at the size. The difference in size. So this is large. This is medium. Yeah. They see the lime one, right? Only got large size. Mm. So we know choice. You have to get the large one. You know, right? Earlier, I asked the staff what's so special about this drink, and you know what she say? She says nothing special. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> only got lime and the tea inside. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna try it. Hmm. It's very refreshing, but this is just like lemon water. Yeah, it's lemon water, right? Mm. But you know, for hot, mm. for hot weather oh, like this, very right? refreshing. This is refreshing. Okay, so for these two bubble teas, we got it at zero percent sugar. Yeah. Then I think right, for this one, the lime tea, I think because we, we got it at zero percent, there's no taste. Mm. But although no taste, right? This one you drink already, you won't feel so gelat. You feel like wow, refreshing. I think the gelat. You can finish the whole thing, yeah. one, eh? The gelat one is this one because it's brown sugar. sugar. Yeah. I just went to check with the staff because mm. just now we say like this tastes like lemon water, right? Mm. But they say this there's tea inside. There's four season tea. Okay. That means the tea is very light, like it's yeah. on the lighter side. But I feel like it's good for people who you know just want a very refreshing and very mm. light drink. So how's the brown sugar milk tea? Okay, so bubble tea connoisseur Rachel, share your thoughts. Okay, for this bubble tea, I think it tastes very similar to all the very normal neighborhood bubble tea. They got this distinct milk tea taste. Mm. This one tastes exactly the same. 
So I think there's nothing special about this long. I think I know why the staff recommended this also because why? brown sugar is mm. like a lot of people's favorite. Yeah. 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 I think this one cannot go wrong. So I often come around this area, the Bukit Batu area. Then every time I pass by. Why? Why you come here? Find who? My friends stay here lah. Which friend? <laughs> Every time we walk past this voucher, we always order. Mm. Because I think right, sometimes, you know, the mall is a bit of a distance. So to find bubble tea, like, you need to travel to the mall. So I think this one is like the easiest fix. You know, sometimes when you are craving yeah, bubble tea, yeah, just yeah, come yeah. down, you get this bubble tea. Question time! So this question is, would you rather forget who you are or everyone else, right, forget about you? You know like, if everyone forget about you right, you will feel very lonely one yeah. But you no forget way. about yourself, it's also meaningless right? You should lose your own identity. identity yes. But you can start afresh. You. No, the thing is, if everybody forget about you, you can also start afresh. That's I think I will choose that. I will choose everybody forget about me. Okay, I'll, I'll forget who I am. I cannot lose the people around me now. But then like, you don't even remember them. They remember me here already. They will remind me with the memories. I will choose like, everyone forget about me. Anyway, for all the questions, you can also answer them in the comment box below. Yeah, share with us your answers. Let's go to our next stop. We are now over at Boon Lake. And it's been raining for the past one yeah, hour. Yeah, super heavy. But it's not gonna dampen our mood. So yeah. now we're at our last stop. Okay, we found it. Tivana Bubble Tea. So they say they have been here for 10 years eh, wow. and they say a lot of returning customers. Wow! Can't wait to drink. Okay, so as usual, we let the staff recommend us and these are the two drinks that they recommend us. Yeah, so we have the signature milk tea at $3.50. And this is the mango sago at $6.50. You know I have high expectation of this milk tea because just now she said right, their milk tea is different, different. from other bubble tea stores. It's very gao. Yeah, very strong. So let's try. Mm. After trying the milk tea, there's really the cha way. Mm. Oh, it's very strong, really. Mm. Mm. And one thing I really love about this is the pearl. It's a smaller kind and it's a super chewy. Yeah, mm. yeah. So it's not the hard kind, you know. Yeah. And you know the pearl, right? Also got to soak up some of the tea taste. So when you chew onto it, right, mm. you can taste the flavor. Yeah. I think this milk tea, right, is on the. Because some people prefer milk, like very milky milk. This one is more of the tea. Yeah. So oh. the tea taste is very pronounced. So I think that is good. Based on what y'all said, right, I guess this. Milk tea, right? Didn't disappoint us. Yeah. Mm. So now let's try this mango sago. I'm quite excited for this also. Mm. Is it good, mm. Rachel? Really? Ah, uh? wow. Yeah, also very cow, eh? It's like you're drinking the dessert. Mm. Oh my god, I'm excited. Can I try? Mm. 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 This is not too watery. Mm. Yeah, I feel it's very thick. So it's like you're really drinking the dessert. Mm. But at the same time, it's drinkable. Mm. Yeah. And you see, right, for this one, right, they have like mango beets and the sago at the bottom. Yeah. So it gives you the texture. Yeah, and you see the liao is actually a lot. Mm. And we ordered this at 0% mm. sugar, and I feel like it's just, just nice, nice already. You know, it's my first time here at Boon Lay Shopping Center. Same. This neighborhood is so happening. Eh. You know, it's a Monday. And Super crowded. Yeah, why ah? Uh? Okay, but old boy, if you were ask me to choose between these two. Same. Yeah. Rachel, you also choose this, right? Yeah. Question time! Would you rather let everyone see your photo gallery or your messages? Wow, this is very tough eh. Because like, both are very like private. Mm. I think I would choose messages. Because you know what? My photo gallery. Wow. Explicit. No la, no la. It's just like, I think like, uh, messages because I never really message anybody. So I can like, just show my message. But actually, that is true. Because I am just like, alone. Just like, alone. Photo gallery is more private. Yeah, more private. That's like photo videos, eh. I think it's yeah. very private. Okay, I'll choose photo gallery. Huh? Eh, I did. I will choose not to let them see my photo gallery. Oh yeah, I will let them see my messages. You eh? Why do I see my photo gallery? Because I don't take a lot of photos. Because it's like sometimes like you know it's like private chats with your friends. I sometimes like they share their their heartfelt oh, thoughts. Oh yeah, that's you know? true. Eh. That's so talking like, bad about us or so. Yeah. No la. Like but honestly, do you? Do you? No, I never, I never. But photo gallery, I feel like it's more like close to the heart. Yeah. But then the thing is right, I think I have nothing to hide. I don't take explicit photos. I don't take explicit videos. So I can show my photo gallery. Yay! Yay! Okay, so we are done for today. Trying all the. Neighborhood bubble tea in the West. Yep, mm. so which one is your favorite? Okay, start from you first. Okay, so my favorite is you and me, the blue coral peppermint. Okay, why? And also Tivana, the milk tea. Mine is a 70. The passion fruit tea with 
Hawaii QQ? For me, right, it's really hard to choose. So I will choose, uh, I think, 70 milk tea and also the Tivana milk tea. Mm. I'm actually quite impressed with their milk tea. It's actually totally different, but both of them taste quite good. So today, we really had so much fun exploring the neighborhood bubble tea. Yeah, in the West. Yeah, so where should we go next? We got like North, South, South East. East. Central. Central. Yeah, so which one do you want us to go next? Comment down and let us know. And if you guys want to recommend us neighborhood bubble teas for us to try in our next video, mm. leave it down also. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe to us, click on the notification bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos. And don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, TikTok, and Telegram group. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.